Hi, Jason Baker here with Rise Real Estate, and here's your August update. Well, the inventory is rapidly increasing, everyone. Uh, the inventory has doubled in the last three, three and a half weeks here in Western Montana across all counties. That means there are more choices for buyers and sellers are seeing less showings and less offers per home because they're spread out uh, amongst more uh, potential uh, uh, homes. Now, this is good news for buyers and it's going to be increasingly good news for buyers as we shift from a seller's market into a normal market. I'm going to go over why that that I believe that that's going to happen. OK, first and foremost, forbearances. Forbearances is when you have a hardship because of COVID, this is what this latest forbearance uh, uh, forbearance uh, uh, instances are. You 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 owe you you missed a payment or two. The bank says, "Look, I understand you're out of work because of COVID or whatever else, or you're making less, or you're working less, or uh, you've been laid off." Now you can t you can you can stop making payments for an indefinite amount of time. Well, that just ended. So all of those people that are in forbearance are 15, 16, 17 months late, maybe 18 months late on their mortgage. All those payments are due unless you can work something out with your bank where you can put that on to the end. But most people are having a lot of trouble putting that to the end because it's like an act of Congress to get your bank to do that. Also, what ended so that that's number one is the forbearance period is over. Now, also, number two, the foreclosure moratorium is over. Now, all of those people that are in forbearances and other people have not been able the bank has not been able to foreclose upon them now. I don't think we're going to see, we're going to see a lot of foreclosure filings. I don't think we'll actually see a lot of foreclosures because 95% of those people or most of those people have a lot of equity in their home like most of us. And I think they'll put those on the market rather than lose their home and lose all of that equity and all that profit and just give it to the bank, right? Even so we're going to see the forbearances come due, which will lead to some new foreclosures or at least people putting their house on the market because they're that far behind. People who are told that they're going to be foreclosed upon, they have 120 days to fix that or sell that, they're going to come to market. The third person who's going to come to market um, are landlords that have had a home, you know, a home that was being squatted in, basically. There's been a, uh, uh, they haven't been able to kick renters out for as long as the forbearances and foreclosure moratorium, basically a year and a half, someone could have been sitting there squatting. And they haven't been able to kick those renters out. Well, they now can. And so the, a lot of rentals are coming to the market. We've been actually listing a lot of those for people, which is great. Okay, so those three things, forbearance, renters, foreclosures. Now, unemployment benefits are ending. Um, so that may have some effect as well. And when all of these things create more inventory, the number one reason why we have limited inventory right now is because people are not listing their home because they don't feel like they have a place to go. Those people, now that there will be an increase in inventory, will now list, which I believe in and of itself will double the inventory, even though it just already doubled. I truly believe we'll have three to four times more inventory within the next two or three months. In my opinion, we're going to see a lot of those people that have been kicking the can down the road have to do something now or be forced out, okay? So, and again, once that inventory start increasing or once there's an article in the newspaper that this thing is turning, right? Now, um, the, the people are gonna start putting their houses on the market once they hear that the market's starting to shift. So those are five or six reasons why I believe the inventory will increase. For buyers, this is amazing, okay? Unless the interest rates go way up, which is something we also have to keep with inflation happening at the fastest pace since I believe the 70s. We have to understand that this is not going to be good for interest rates. It never is. You can't show me a time where we've had massive inflation, like almost the worst ever, where that's been good for interest rates. So eventually that starts creeping up the interest rates and that slows the market down too, which makes houses sit on the market for a long period of time. And when they're on the market for a long period of time, they reduce, reduce, reduce. We're seeing a lot of price reductions right now for the first time in a long time. So, I do not believe that this will be like 2008 or 2009, 2010, you know, basically from 2008 to 2013. Okay, I don't believe that because we're starting with way lower inventory and there's also no subprime mortgage defaults. This is all driven by COVID in the 30 to 40 percent of the businesses that have gone out of business. People are just unemployed from that. Of course, everybody's hiring right now, but I think people are just sitting at home not working simply because they don't have to because they've been getting so much money. Well, that's about to end too. So. Those are some reasons why 
sellers should consider selling and also some optimism or some hope for buyers where I know you've been super frustrated. So if you want a list of all of the new homes that are coming on the market, please let us know. If you'd like an evaluation on your home, please let us know. And if you have any questions more specific uh, than what I've just gone over, please let us know. We're here as a resource to you. There's no uh, obligation or cost to ask us questions. So um, anyhow, I wanna, um, I, it, was, it was great to see so many of you at the client appreciation event uh, last, uh, last week at the Highlander. And uh, thank you for coming and thank you to my past clients and thank you to my future clients. So again, if you have any questions, please let us know and I hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for listening. Oh, 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 oh,